I would argue that titles are all about control. Let me explain. Y'all know that people love to sit around here and, uh, you know, be talking to somebody first and then they decide they want to be in a full-blown relationship, what we would call a boyfriend-girlfriend relationship. And the biggest part that's left out, I would also argue that the biggest part that is left out is the friend part. Nobody really gives a fuck about this friend part. It's just there. It just exists. And I'll get into that here in a second. If you look at when you're talking to somebody, y'all moving and eating and, you know, most people having sex, the only reason people introduce a title is to control you. Is to have these rules, these certain rules that come with being a boyfriend or a girlfriend. And these are the same rules that we, uh, we've discussed this before. These are the same rules that people have with marriage. They just transpose these rules over to this boyfriend, girlfriend, you know, place or area of relationship or phase, some would argue, of a relationship because the end goal is marriage. All this shit is about control. The only reason somebody want to go with you or be your boyfriend or be your girlfriend or whatever is so they can control you and hold you to these rules, these expectations. Because then you have something that you can fail at. If you don't do something right, whether it be calling them back on time, texting them good morning, texting them good night, call them after you left the game or calling them after you leave the club or calling them after church, whatever the fuck type of calls you got to make. Whatever rules you're going to have, the only reason that people want to put these titles on you is so now you have a code of conduct in, what, in which you must follow. There is no other purpose for titles at all because you're already eating, you're already spending time together, and typically you're already having sex, so what's the really the point of the title other than to control? Tell you where you can't go, who you can't see, where you can't be, and where you can't go without me. This is the only purpose of titles. And this is supposed to be uh, the trial phase for marriage. Because marriage, again, is all about control. You, my wife, you can't do this, that, and the other. You, my husband, you can't do this, that, and the other. We took vows on the God, blah, 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 blah. And thus, control. Titles serve no other purpose. Well, control and, of course, you know, bragging rights or feeling like you belong to someone because people love to be like, that's my man, that's my woman. Control and ownership. And see, the reason I, I believe that the friend part is left off, typically, you don't have two people that are engaging in their friends. Because the rules for friends and the rules for relationships are different. You're not going to spaz on your friend if they don't call your ass back. You'll assume that they must be busy. And you don't assume they're busy sucking dick or fucking another bitch either. You just assume that they're probably just busy. Maybe working. Maybe got a lot going on. Nothing real heavy there. You can also be honest with your friend. You don't have to worry about them judging you. You get to be who you are. They get to know the details of your life without shame or embarrassment. At least, that's what a true friend does. With relationships, you have to begin to tell lies. And I'm not talking about big, gaping lies, like you fucking your girl, sister, or nothing crazy like that, or, you know, fucking other bitches or fucking other dudes. I ain't even talking about big ones. I'm talking about the ones that people use to keep the peace. There are lies told just to keep the peace. This is what happens in relationships certain temperaments that you learn that the person you have has certain situations that may not be as savory you don't want their mind wandering and you having to argue about no silly shit so you'll lie this is what you got to do in your relationships typically and of course people can argue against this and 
you know, say that they don't never do this, but I know you do. It's okay. Nothing wrong. I'm not judging you for this. I'm just saying you don't have to do this with your friend. Your friend get to know about all the hoes you got, whether, you know, men, women, whoever the fuck. Your friend get to know about all the shit you do. And y'all going to kiki, laugh about it, and whatever, and whatever. Y'all going to keep moving. And they're going to still be your friend off of it. You can't engage in a relationship this way. Because now there are rules and expectations put in place. There are certain forms of control. People don't want you running around uh, free range. <laughs> you can't be no free range human out here. Because that intimidates people. That's intimidating to all of us. Well, I mean, not me, of course, but to humans, that's intimidating. That you don't have the control that you feel like you should have over another person. And we understand that after a while, this shit runs its course anyway. We got to look at the marriage rate. I mean, the divorce rate being up at 50% now. This is amongst all people. I would say the relationship rate is even goddamn, or the breakup rate in relationships are even higher than that. Because divorce is greatly inconvenient. That's one of the big stark differences of, you know, having a boyfriend, girlfriend, and a husband, wife. The breakup is a little more messy when it comes to uh, matters of divorce. A little messier. But when you look at this thing for what it is, it's all about control. That is it. That is all. The idea of somebody just being your friend makes humans feel as though well I'm leaving their options open and if I slap this title on them and we call each other all this shit heart heart kissy face kissy face whatever whatever then this will prevent people from going astray and there are certain rules that must be followed certain reports that must be made checking in you know you got your parole officer style people you know Got to do your check-in. Got to do your asking for permission. You got to make sure it's okay with Bay, Right? Then you have to do all of this. This shit runs its course. Relationships end, typically, is because the boyfriend isn't in existence. The girlfriend doesn't exist. There is no friendship going on here. At all. Typically. Now I'm not saying everybody conducts themselves this way. I'm saying that these titles are only used for control and the friend part of them is left out. A lot of people don't feel victim to their person going out and fucking with their friend. Because a friend is somebody you can talk to no matter what. They're going to be there to listen to you no matter what. You can tell them the truth about whatever's going on no matter what. And a lot of times what you'll notice is that people end up quote unquote cheating with their friends. With the people that they don't have to be all high strung for. They're not having to be nothing. So the friend will get to be that person that listens to all the bullshit. Typically about the relationship itself. The friend will listen to that. They'll be there. The shoulder to cry on and all that shit. Or I had a homie that like, man, yeah, man, that bitch tripping, you know. It's the friend. What that tells me is that a friend is always relevant. A boyfriend or a girlfriend isn't always relevant. So I don't know why people don't focus more on the friend aspect. Well, I do know. Because controlling of a friend, that's really not what you're trying to do. These titles are all about control and rules and curfews. That's what it's all about. Now, I'm not saying that you don't care about the people that you're calling yourself boyfriend and girlfriend with, but there was no reason for that title. Y'all was doing all right just being friends, but everybody knows 
that if I leave it open, they may go somewhere else. They may do something else. I got to go ahead and what they call lock them down. So I can control them. So I can tell them who they can't talk to, where they can't go, what they can't wear, and who they can't be around and everything. This is, this is all these titles is for. Without the titles, people feel as though they don't have a purpose. What are we doing here? You know, people would get to that point like, well, what are we doing? The same thing we'd be doing if we was in a, a title situation. But now, since you asked me that question, I know damn well if I make you my girlfriend or whatever, that you're going to be aggy as fuck. Now I know it. I'm almost certain of it at this point. Because you just want to control me. And if I don't do exactly what you want me to do, you just want something to argue about. That's it. That's all. See, without the titles, you don't get to just argue with motherfuckers. Well, some people do, actually. Something wrong with motherfuckers. Something wrong with people. Motherfuckers be just talking to motherfuckers and still arguing like a motherfucker. But you don't have a just cause for your argument. People want to have just cause for their little arguments and shit, little problems that they're going to have with the person they're fucking with. With the person they decided to be in a relationship with, rather. They want to have just cause for these arguments. Something you ain't do. And you were supposed to do it because there's this title here that says you're supposed to do it. And thus, now we get to argue about it. How you not making me feel this whatever, whatever, whatever. Where is this going? You know. Then it goes to a relationship. Then it's where is this going now? And then this is people looking for the one to be married. For the prestige that comes with being in a relationship and being married. More so with marriage. But it's a prestige thing. It's a bragging right. Something to put on social media. And we won't even deal with the effect that technology has had on relationships. I'm about to do a whole other video on that. We wouldn't even deal with that fuckery right now. That trash that even grown people allow themselves to succumb to. To create new and different things to argue about. People want to be in relationships. To control behaviors or actions, at least the illusion of control, because we understand that boyfriend, girlfriend, or husband, wife don't stop nobody from doing shit, but it's that illusion that people love. The illusion that comes with titles. The control. The potential control that comes with that title. That's what this shit's all about. Now I know some of you may be in disagreement, But leave the comments in the comment section. Again, I'm not attacking you people's relationships. That's not what's going on here. At all. I just hope that at some point we can be real about this shit. There is no reason for you to want to go with somebody outside of wanting to control them or seeking purpose through that title that validates you I'm somebody's boyfriend I'm somebody's girlfriend that validates you and makes you feel good makes you feel like you have a purpose in somebody's life because they gave you a title but the bottom line of these titles y'all is it's all about control that's it. Because if not, then y'all could have just been friends. Actually, probably would have worked out better, really. Most of y'all rush into relationships all willy-nilly, you know. Full-blown. Expectations, rules come, then y'all hate each other, you know. Y'all would have been better off as friends anyway, but y'all leaving the friend part off of y'all's relationships. Don't nobody want no parts of no friend. Because you can't control a friend. And that's what people want. The ability to control you tell you who you can talk to and everything who you can't be around that's all that shit is about bottom line but y'all like share subscribe hit the notification bell links to follow me on social media in the description box shout out team rob y'all already know what the fuck it is i'm out